and welcome back to my channel. So today we're actually doing a kind of an exciting video because I am a tight ass. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know, I do not like spending money. It is very hard for me to splurge on money. So today we're doing a full face of makeup that's under $10 per product, which in my opinion is very affordable considering a lot of products out there are a lot more than $10. So that's very exciting today. I'm gonna say all of this is from the drugstore or online. Um, obvious reasons. Sephora ain't gonna carry a lot of makeup as on ten dollars, is it? So if you want to see how I created this really really pretty look using all products that are under ten dollars, that's ten Australian dollars. So if you're in the U.S., this is even cheaper because our exchange rate sucks. So just keep watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am going to prime today with the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. This is Healthy Glow Pore Minimizing Effect. Can't speak. Um, this is at a price line a couple weeks ago, but it's no longer there. But I looked on the American website and it was five ninety nine, which puts it under ten Australian dollars. So if you can still get your hands on this guy, I definitely recommend picking it up. I really like this primer because it is very hydrating, and it smells kind of nice too. There's like a really nice glow to my skin right now. I'm just gonna let that set down because it does sink into the skin a bit. But for foundation, I'm going to take a five dollar foundation. It's really really good. It is the W7 Very Vegan Foundation. I have the shade. Why can I never find this? Oh, sand beige. It is a little bit on the cool tone, but for five dollars, I can make it work. It's like a really, really nice natural coverage, and it's five dollars. Five dollars. Concealer, no surprise here. I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is six US dollars, which is currently eight dollars fifty in Australia, which is pretty much the cheapest concealer you're able to buy because we are really pricey with our makeup. I have the shade Light Neutral. And I'm going to be setting everything in place with the Makeup Obsession press powder. This is in the shade Porcelain. That's really dark. But it's kind of yellow toned, so it's kind of good because I have a pink foundation on. Um, this is only $5 and it's off the Makeup Revolution website. It's one of the offshoot companies. And I really, really like it. To add some dimension back in my face, I have two bronzers. I have this one here, which is the Freedom Professional Bronzer. It just says bronzed on the back. This guy's only $5. It's off the Makeup Revolution site again, and it's really, really good. But it is a matte bronzer, which is usually great. But I want to be a bit glowier today, so my other option is the Savvy. There's a serious size difference. This is the Savvy Mineral Baked Bronzer in Radiance, which is a glowy one, so it has some shimmer in there. It's a little bit of a swell one. This one is $9.95. So it is double the price of this. You can actually get about half the product, which is kind of funny. How much is in this? For blush, I'm going to use the cheapest option available, which is the Malibu Glitz Blusher. That's what it's called. It's very, very simple. It's very, very nice, and it's got this really beautiful rose uh, em embossing on the front. I think it's embossment. I don't know, it's got a flower pattern on it. It is only a dollar. I got this off the Shop Miss A website, and it is surprisingly good. And then for our glow today, I'm going in with the W7 Very Vegan Highlighting Powder. This guy's $5 and is very, very good. It sits on my skin well. It doesn't, like, enhance texture. And it can be built up from like a really nice glow up to like a blind. Moving on to eyeshadow, I actually have four palettes. These are the W7 palettes, eyeshadow palettes. They have quite a few, but they're really, really good for what the price is. They're $10. So I think I'm gonna zoom you in and we'll see what the like what I feel like putting on my eyes. Alright, we're gonna start up with the delicious eye palette. And I'm going to grab the shade... Oh, they don't have names on this particular one. But the other ones do. It's weird. I'm going to take this one just here and blow out my crease with this one. And 
Then I'm going to take the Dust Till Dawn palette. I'm going to take this shade here, which is quite dark. I think it's the shade Oasis. And I'm going to put this pretty much directly into the crease. I'm going to do like a halo eye with it. Hopefully. Then I'm going back in with the Dust Till Dawn palette. And I'm taking the shade Dune, Dune Moon. And it is this stunning color just here. Like. So pretty. Like, so pretty. And I'm gonna put that in the blank space area there. Now, taking the spaced out palette, I'm going in with the shade uh, Space Waste, which is this beautiful shimmery champagne. And I'll put that right in the center. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to take the shade uh, Milky Way, which is this white shimmery shade. There's also a white one up here. I don't really get why there's two of them. They're, they're identical to be honest. I don't really get it. For mascara, I'm going to grab this guy here. It is the Lash Princess by Essence. I'm pretty sure this goes for about $6. Um, I'm going to link everything down below that I can find, or I'll just put the prices down below as well. Moving on to lips, I'm going to line my lips with the LA Girl Endless Semi-Permanent Auto Lip Liner Long Lasting All Day Wear. That's a hell of a name, but this retails for $9.95 and is in the shade True Brown, so I like a darker sort of lip. And then to fill in my lips, I'm just going to put a gloss on top. This is the Ultra Glossy by Colourpop in the shade Lazy, it's like a almost copper metallic y glossy lipstick. What do you think of today's makeup look? I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it's really cute, very wearable, and very, very affordable. I gotta say, I love pretty much all of these products. They're really some of my go tos. That highlighter I use almost every day when I wear makeup, I love it that much. And it just proves that you don't have to spend big money to get a really good look or anything like that. Anyway guys, if you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs this video up and I'll see you all next time. Have a great day, night, or wherever you are.